We bike like bra straps, baby. Let's get into it. What's going on, y'all? Did y'all miss me? <laughs> I miss y'all too. Yeah, we is bike. We is finally bike like bra stripes. I tried to rhyme with that. Bars, bitch. Anyways, y'all, welcome back. We are back with another episode review of Catfish, y'all. Now, they say it's season eight, episode 61, but let's be real. We done went through a whole pandemic. It's two years. Ain't we like realistically on real time? We on like season 11, episode one. And for real time, I don't know why we got this extended season. I just don't understand that. Y'all remember Love After Lockup did that too? Anyways, we in season, they say season 8, episode 61, but it's executive couch producer. I say we are in season 11, episode 1. Okay, this is Victoria and Anthony. Y'all, MTV came back with some tea. I ain't even mad at you. That's what you do when you when you've been gone for a minute and you got to come bike on these hoes and you came back with some tea. Y'all, before you even ask me, I'm sipping on a little Scotto. Y'all know I'm ratchet with it. And I, I took my nails off. I'm feeling really gentlemanly-ish now that I see it on camera. Bitch, I look like I lay bricks. Ain't this some sh Ooh, that mean, Oh, I didn't get my nails done. Um... Look here, y'all. Y'all already know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe, and share all that good shit. But look here. I want to let y'all know today is June the 1st. It is my birthday month. Okay? My birthday is on June 27th. Yes, your auntie is one of them. Do not play with your auntie Momo because she is one of them that celebrates her birthday all month long. Okay? So, y'all see this here? That's the cash app. I'm just saying, you know what I'm saying? You won't tip a bitch. You know what I'm saying? I make them shake, do whatever you got to do, but I'm one of them. It's my birthday. If you feel so inclined to give your auntie a tip, there it go. Y'all, this episode of Catfish was good. It was tea, okay? So we need to go ahead and stop wasting time. I done talked enough. Y'all see the cash app? I might bring it back a couple more times just in case you niggas forgot. But let's go ahead and get on up into it, y'all, because y'all already know I'm ready to give it to you. All right, y'all, we got Victoria. 24 from Austin, Texas. Baby, y'all already know Austin, Texas. That's my city, though, okay? She been talking to this dude named Anthony for eight years. Yes, bitch, I said eight years. Hold on, it gets even better. She been talking to him since she was 16. Anthony is 29. She 24. She been talking to him since she was 16. Now, that would have made him 21. Now, I ain't the best in math. I'm not the brightest crayon in the box. Elevator probably don't even go up to the top floor all the way. But that math don't really math right to me. He's 16, you 21. Carry the foe. Anywho, though. Now, she said that he has been down for her, been there through all of her first. You know what I'm saying? Her first car, first apartment, first job, all of that shit or whatever, right? He was basically like her first boyfriend in a sense. Now, in eight years, they have not FaceTimed, not video chat, and bitch, they ain't even talked on the phone. Now, Victoria, you know you niece. You know I love you just because we both from Texas. Texas, motherfucker, that's where we stay. But that don't mean I'm not going to give it to you the way it, it needs to be gotten and, and gave it. Girl. Girl. Eight euros and not, not a single phone call. This nigga could have sent you a smoke signal. He could have sent a pigeon with a note. In a bottle across the ocean with a voice message on that bitch talk to you by now. I'm just saying. I get it when you was young. But now? I, anyway, so. Now, she says he randomly um, sent her. Um, let me go back. My bad. I'm just I'm drinking on this wine, child. Now, she says that he randomly added her on Snapchat. Okay? Now, 
Mind you, she didn't know who he was, nothing like that. He added her on Snapchat. They just became friends from there. They started talking like it started off a little cutesy, wootsy or whatnot. Then it got a little risque and raunchy a little bit. Mind you, she was 16. He was 21. That mad thing mad thing. Now, supposedly he's in L.A. So she flies out to L.A. with Neve and Cammy, so that if they do catch his ass, he is there. She'll already be in L.A. I was I was with her. She was like, I ain't never been to L.A., but bitch, I hit L.A. girls like they have fun. I'm trying to be one of the L.A. girls, too, bitch. I would have took that free trip, too. Now, she said she found his IG on her own. She knew what his first and last name was. He didn't actually tell her what the IG was. Now, she said when she found it, she didn't follow it because she was like, oh, well, nigga, you ain't following me. I ain't gonna follow you on some old bullshit or whatever that is, whatever, right? But they never communicated through IG neither. It was primarily through Snapchat and through them talking, I mean, not talking on the phone, through them texting on the phone. Now, she said when she found his IG, his name on there was Cockmaster. Now, they bleeped it out, of course, and I read the lips. I was like, Cockmaster. Uh, to me, it don't sound like he would be into grass if his name was Cock. I'm thinking too far into it, and plus, I've been drinking, child. Let me just keep on going what the hell I was doing. Now, she says that when she got her first boyfriend in real life, she was 18 and she told him about it. So he got mad, Anthony. Anthony got mad, cussed her out and then blocked her, right? So she says um, when she turned 21, that's when her and her boyfriend broke up. They started talking again and this time he gave her a new number. And so ever since then, from the time she was 21 up to bitch June 1st, he has had a new phone number every year. Bitch, that's suspicious. That what is he a trap boy? And not too long ago, they got into another fight, child. She say Anthony sent her a message and was like, "Pop a titty for me, <laughs> pop a titty for a real nigga." She was like, "Nigga, what? Hold on, I don't understand why we ain't never Facetimed or nothing. You want me to send you these pictures or what? Not nigga, is you for real or is you for naw?" And he was like, "Yeah, I'm for real." She was like, "Well, nigga, you know I'm call fat uh, catfish on your ass." And he was like, all right, go ahead, call him. Try next thing you know, he blocked her ass. Again, why is we here? <laughs> he done already showed you his cards, niece. I'm just saying. Now, she says her BFF, Kaya, is the one that knows all about him. She's been there from the beginning, knows everything about the guy, right? Now, of course, Neve and Cammy, they got to... A ain't nobody safe, bitch. Everybody is a suspect. They ask her, do you think it could be your home, girl? I, I ain't saying it. it is. Like, do she got a boyfriend or whatnot? Um, Victoria was like, nah, she got a girlfriend. Kim was like, ugh, that was presumptuous. And me was like, I'm just trying to say, you never know. <laughs> she could be a girl that like girls. I'm just saying, you don't think it could be your home, girl, Kaya? So she's the only one that's known about him since the beginning. And she was like, nah, I know my girl Kaya. You know, she's she wouldn't be into me like that. None of that shit. Child, it's time for the investigation. First, they start off and they send him a message on his IG. They also um, message a guy that he's in the photo with, you know, seeing um, on his little post or whatnot, right? So the guy actually ends up sending them a message back saying that he's good friends or cousins or whatnot, whatever it is with Anthony. His name on IG now is like Swahili. Swat, swat, I don't know, child. I'm going to get it wrong, and I ain't trying to be funny, but I don't goddamn know. Now, the friend says that it couldn't be Anthony because he's married, and he got a whole ass child. When even Cammy's like, well, bitch, somebody out here catfishing bitches, and bitches is catfishing, and they using his information. So, we didn't already send him a message. I don't know if he got it or not, but I'm going to need you to go ahead and holler at him, too. Friend was like, oh, bitch, <laughs> I got the nigga on speed now already. I'm just waiting to hang up with you niggas. And they end up searching the phone numbers and they end up finding a possible match to it. But there's like 20, 30 different Anthony whatnots with that same number or something like that. I don't know. It was kind of technical. And bitch, I, I was drinking in too. I wasn't really paying a whole lot of attention. But they really didn't get far on the numbers because it was a bunch of Anthony's just all up in there. Next day, they end up getting with Victoria. They give Victoria the tea. She says she mad. She hurt. <laughs> But again, girl, you should have seen this shit coming. I'm just saying. They asked her if she knows anybody in New York. She said, yeah, my best friend is from New York. Her girlfriend too. Bitch, that's suspicious. <laughs> that's weird. 
Now, at this time, they end up getting a message back from Anthony saying, I don't know you. I don't trust you. I damn sure don't trust this dog on Victoria. What y'all need to do is go ahead and holler at me in, fur, in, in person. We can go ahead and talk this thing out because I don't know what the hell going on. Leave Cammy and Victoria like, well, what kind of type of shit is this nigga on? They get to the park where Anthony say he is. Child, he come walking down the way and it's really this nigga Anthony. I was like... Confused the hell out of me. But the way he walking, he walking with some goddamn aggression and he bow-legged. Now, you know, bow-legged niggas, they already kind of cute when they walk. They got a little cute walk to them. But when bow-legged niggas is mad and they walk, baby, their legs is like this turned in and they walk and they walk with some goddamn aggression. So he had his legs like a big ass O. He was ready to go and see what the hell was going on. Now, he says he got a message from Victoria saying don't talk to catfish because basically they're trying to, they're trying to blow up your spot. They trying to ruin your whole damn life. So he mad. He don't know what the hell going on. He said, I came here ready to fight. <laughs> Bitch, I got my black on, my ski mask on. What's good? And even Kim is like, wait, 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 wait. Hold up. Now, apparently, Victoria has been talking to you, supposedly, for the last eight years. Victoria asked him, so nigga, you ain't cock master? He was like, nah, nigga. I don't master cocks. I don't know where, that hell, where the hell that came from. So basically what it was, it was a fake page that was trying to throw them off from actually, was trying to throw him off from actually talking with Catfish. Now, nah, nigga, the jig is up. We know it ain't you. So the real Anthony was like, well, y'all, I'm sorry. <laughs> you know, wish I could help you out. You know what I'm saying? Y'all be easy. Gave that bitch Victoria a high five. Was like, all right, you, you stay godly. God bless you. And, and left. With his legs still in the O. He got a cute little bow leg. Your walk, though. I give it to you. I wonder how that nigga run. Does he trip when he run? Because, I mean, he was bow, bow legged. It was cute, though. Now, at this time, Neve ends up sending a text message to the fake Anthony. Basically, like, nigga, the jig is up. We just want to talk to you. Come outside, bitch. We not going to jump you. We just want to know what the hell is going on, right? He also um, ends up adding him on Snapchat just to see if he's going to add him back. Well, right away, the fake Anthony ends up adding him back. They go to look at his location and see where he's at. Location comes up, he's in Charlotte, North Carolina. They like, do you know anybody in Charlotte, North Carolina? She like, oh, my best friend stay there with her girlfriend. Bitch, that's suspicious. <laughs> that's weird. That's why they think it's your home girl. I mean, shit, I think it's your home girl. So Victoria like, okay, now wait a minute, hold up. Let me go ahead and get the address from my mama and them because my mama know her address. In the meantime, in between time, they go ahead and fly out to North Carolina so they can go ahead and meet up with this fake-ass Anthony. Now, she ends up calling her BFF as well and telling the BFF that we coming down to Charlotte, North Carolina, bitch, we need to kick and get some drinks or whatnot, right? So the next day, they're in Charlotte. They end up showing there. She says that she sent Anthony a message and was like, I'm in Charlotte. They think my best friend is you. It's now never. What's good? What's popping? Neva can't be like, bitch, why you telling me? We trying to pop up on this ass. But you know what? It may be good. That way we got this motherfucker backed in the corner. If it is your home, girl, I'm just saying. That's what we think it is. So she already know the goddamn jig is up. So Neva and Cammy, they at the hotel or whatnot, and they waiting to hear back from Anthony what's going on. So in this time, Victoria was like, oh, yeah, I got my homegirl's address from my mama. The address was like 123 P Valley. That's up. Speaking of P Valley, bitch, the new episode come on this Friday. My review will be up on Saturday. Oh, so it was like 123 P Valley, whatever, whatever, right? Just then, Anthony ends up responding back to them. was like, all right, cool. I guess it's y'all here. I ain't got no choice. I'll go ahead and meet up with y'all. I'm finna send y'all the address where y'all can meet me to. Bitch, they send the address. Neve look at it. He like, bitch, what's your homegirl address? She said 123P Valley. Why? Neve say, bitch, at the address is 123P Valley, bitch. That's suspicious. I was like, okay, it's the homegirl. Cammy was me. I was Cammy. Cammy was me. I was like, it's the home girl. It's the home girl. Victoria ain't gonna say, no, nah, maybe it's just another dude that live in the same apartment complex. A bitch, maybe <laughs> she just leaving little bread, bread, bread crumbs trying to lead me to this fine ass nigga. Now, nah, bitch, that's not what it is. But oh, this what it is though. 
Child ain't end up going to the house, going to the, the address, 123P Valley, bitch. They knock on the door. It's a nice looking stud female comes to the door. Neve is like, okay, how you doing? What's your name? She said, my name is Ashanti. Victoria looking like, bitch, that's Kaya's girlfriend. The hell? Both Victoria and Cam looking at each other like, bitch, what's going on? She said, bitch, I don't know. Child and Neve said, why don't you go ahead, come on now, tell us what the hell's going on. Where's Kaya? And she like, oh, she ain't here right now. That's what Ashanti says. And they were like, okay, well, does she know we here? Ashanti said, no. Nah. Neve said, okay, well, what in the hell is going on? Ashanti say, bitch, I'm Anthony. Bitch, what? What? Girl, come to find out it was the BFF's girlfriend the whole time. Bitch, check this out. She say that she had a friend that was on Snapchat years ago. This is how Shanti ended up hooking up with Victoria. She had a friend years ago that was on Snapchat that tagged Victoria in a picture. He seen Victoria, or she seen Victoria was like, er, okay. Ends up adding Victoria that way. They end up talking. Couple years down the line, Victoria tags BFF Kaya in a photo. Ashanti then adds Kaya. They start talking, but she adds Kaya as herself. So then she gets into a relationship with Kaya as Ashanti while she's also catfishing Victoria as Anthony. Bitch. You can't make this shit up. So Neve was like, okay, so does Kaya know? Ashanti say, nah. She don't know nothing. So you've been sitting up here catfishing bitches and bitches is catfishing for eight years. Mind you, you asking for titty pics while you sitting up here dating her best friend. Cha! Shit is crazy. Shit is crazy. Now she said she had feelings for Victoria in the beginning, but once she got with Kaya, she thought that it would just die down between them. So she claims that she's attracted to Victoria, but she don't have feelings for her like that. Girl, girl. Anyways, they ask her, well, what's up with the message that the real Anthony got? She does admit that she made a fake page in order to try to throw them off the trail of actually finding out what the hell was going on, right? Child, just then, BFF shows up. BFF Kaya shows up, girl. So, well, hold on. Before Kaya shows up, uh, Victoria is mad. Victoria gonna tell Ashanti, okay, so it's given you thought me and Kaya both were dumb. Child, this bitch Ashanti gonna say, well, I mean, yeah, kinda. You kinda were. Like, so goddamn nonchalant about the shit. I'm like, bitch, you messed up. How you gonna be a dick about it? But anyways, BFF Kaya shows up and of course Victoria and Kaya, they hug because that's my bitch, that's my best friend. She a real bad bitch or whatever, right? After they hug, Kaya like, well, bitch, what you doing with him? What's, what you got, the cameras and shit? What's going on? Well, they turn to Ashanti and it's like, well, bitch, you want to explain something? Ashanti tells Kaya, I'm Anthony. Kaya like, bitch, what? How is you Anthony? So you've been for eight years. How you find, bitch, how you find me? So she tells her, well, I added her from a friend that tagged her. And then I added you because she tagged you. And bitch, here we are. It's June 1st. <laughs> goddamn Kaya is speechless. She don't know what the hell to goddamn say. Then she does say, you know what? This ain't the first time. So I'm guessing she must have been caught up doing some old sneaky, freaky, deaky, hiding, laying in low, spreading wide type shit before in the past. And you done forgave her though, Kai. That's all I'm saying. Now, Neve and Kimmy, they end up going inside and trying to sit down and talk and just basically trying to pull some remorse out of Ashanti because she was very nonchalant about it. She was like, I mean, you know, it is what it is. I feel bad. I don't want you to leave me, Kaya. I love you. My bad. Like she really, 
I don't know if it was nerves too or what, but she was just very nonchalant. She ain't give, she ain't give shit. Goddamn Kaya said, I'm done. Girl, two month follow up comeback. Right. Victoria done moved in with her boyfriend, off and on boyfriend of two years. And she moved in with him. You know, she grown. She do what the hell she want to do. You know, you do you, boo-boo. Now, when it come to Kaya, Kaya and Ashanti are still together. Girl, I got to holler at the friend for a minute. Kaya, your girlfriend basically is feeling your best friend. And truth be told, how do you know your girlfriend is even really with you because she want to be with you and not want to be close to Victoria? I'm just saying, I ain't trying to mess up no, no happy home, but I'm just saying. And then not only that, why would you want to be with somebody that is a big ass liar like that? Like a book and was nonchalant about it. And then on top of that, really, she was cheating on you because she was asking your best friend for titty pics. I'm just saying, let me go ahead and shut up, get the hell on up out of here. Look here again. It is my birthday all month long. Go on, holler at the cash app if you feel so inclined. Give me a tip. But y'all, that was the end of the episode right there. It was good. It was tea, and I was here for it. Appreciate that from you, Catfish. If it was anything that I missed, y'all already know what to do. Drop it down below and let me know. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And your Auntie Mo gonna see y'all in the next video. Peace out. Mm -hmm.